Okay, so another Barry Boot image has been made available, uh, and this time it's the Raspbian X Nighthawk edition. Uh, so this is the one that Salvador from PyLab has worked on, uh, amongst others uh, that he's done, and this is a great image. And so I'm gonna add it, I've already put it on my USB stick. If you wanna see how to add test images, look at my Ubuntu video, and I'll link it in the description. So we left click and hold on Add OS, copy OS from USB stick, uh, and then you're looking for the image. So you can see here, Raspbian X Nighthawk. And if I hit open, that will start copying that over the SSD card. Uh, Salvador's also told me about another image that he and someone else is working on, which is uh, based on Mac OS, and it looks great as well. So I'm really interested to see that when it comes out. Uh, it looks like it's coming along really nicely. So Barry Boot can be used with just an ordinary SD card, and you can have multiple operating systems on that. Uh, but I use it with an SSD drive because the performance is much better. Uh, and this image uh, of Raspbian X is, is so fast anyway. Uh, so to see it on an SSD, it's going to be really exciting to see how good the Pi can work. And uh, it because it's so well loaded, I mean, this supported my printer. Uh, it had Office apps in it. It had games and emulators. Uh, and it had uh, a really nice theme based around Windows 10. And uh, so yeah, a really nice addition to what you can add to a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so that's all done. So let's click on that and hit set as default and then exit. Okay, so we'll press enter to boot. And let's see how fast it starts up. And because these are pre-made images, they tend to start up really quite quick. There you go. So looking very Windows 10. I've shown this in a, in a previous video uh, and the password is Raspberry as it was before. Okay, so up and running. So I thought what I'd do is test out the files which I didn't do in my previous one and show uh, that it supports my See, it says network here. So you usually have to do go and network WD My Cloud public. Yeah, this is my NAS drive. So I took a few photos the other day, uh, which will be, oh, I don't know which ones they're going to be. Well, let's copy them all. And let's put a folder on the desktop just to show how how well it works, just how usable it is really. Uh, there you go, so photos. What happens if I double click? Oh, did I not paste them in? There you go, so now they're showing up as photos, or at least some of them are. So let's double click. You can see a lot of these, uh, well these are wallpaper, these are photos I've taken recently uh, on our walks in lockdown. And you can see it comes up really quick. So let's try it in sort of an office task. So let's launch LibreOffice, uh, the one that looks like Word on the, on the panel there. And you can see super quick to start up. So insert image, uh, we'll go to the desktop, we'll go to my photos folder and we'll pick one of my photos from there, open. Oh, super quick, look. So I'm moving it around I can resize, uh, I can add another one, insert, image, comes up with that same folder again which is handy, hit open, does it keep the other one there, oh it, it, uh, it got rid of the other one, I thought it was going to give me two images then. So let's put a text box in, so insert, text box, super easy to use that. Uh, clouds, let's highlight that and resize it, it's probably going to be about 200, oh no, it's probably going to be about 100 then, but you can see, really I'm doing this to show how this is such a usable desktop uh, environment and uh, you know, if I, so I've got that running, uh, let's open up, well that's the Chromium Media Edition, so let's go for ordinary Chromium. So internet, Chromium web browser, 
because I covered the media edition bit, a bit in the other video, the fact that the video plays perfectly and works really well. So hot UK deals. And I don't know if you saw, I put a post about GTA because GTA is free at the moment. So uh, Grand Theft Auto should come up somewhere near the top, I would think. Oh, it doesn't come up somewhere near the top, but basically GTA 5, yeah, free on the Epic Game Store. Uh, and someone has said that The Witcher 3 should be coming as well. So that's really interesting. Anyway, let's go back to that full page and you can see that scrolling up and down is very responsive. Let's get another page up, BBC News. And this does work fine on an SD card, but the SSD is definitely faster. The video I've just released uh, shows that uh, USB boot is gonna come to the Raspberry Pi 4, which it hasn't had yet officially. Uh, it's gonna have native USB boot and uh, that will be coming hopefully in the next few days on experimental firmware, um, so don't save that. But yeah, hopefully this shows how amazingly fast the system is. Uh, it is a pleasure to use. Uh, Salvador at Pi Labs done a great job, uh, and, it, and he's mentioned he's had some help on this as well. Um, so thanks to everybody who's involved. But, uh, and it's also running on an SSD, available on Berry Boot server. Uh, it's on the test images page and I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.